Let's build a React app with GitHub Copilot. I want to show you how to build a front-end project with GitHub Copilot, and what better way to do that than to build a React client. I'm Kadesha, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Now, let's take a look at what we'll be building. So we're building the front-end client for PlanVenture, a travel itinerary builder that helps users plan their trips. This project builds on top of the previous episode, where we built the backend API with Flask and GitHub Copilot. To build along with me, you'll need access to a code editor. I'm using VS Code, the most recent version of Node.js, and a package manager such as NPM installed on your machine. Or you can open up a code space to build in the cloud. You also need to be familiar with building client-side applications with React, as that's the library we'll be using today. We'll be using React with Vite for the client and Material UI as the component library for ease of styling. We'll add protected routes, allow users to add their trips and itinerary information with the ability to make updates as needed. Our goal today is to create a working front-end app that handles user authentication and basic trip management. A full description of what we're building today is included in the starter repository that you can clone at this link. I'd love for you to follow along and use GitHub Copilot to build with me. Now, let's go to the codes. On GitHub, navigate to this repository, gh.io slash planventure. Clone the repo and cd into the planventure client directory. You'll notice that we have a pretty bare bones React app with Vite already set up for us. Let's install our dependencies and start the dev server. Open your terminals and run npm install. Your server should now start on localhost 5173, and you should see this UI in your browser when you click the link. Amazing. Now let's take a look at the code and see what we have. We have protected routes already configured with React Router DOM. We also have material UI configured for styling and a basic nav bar and footer in the home page. We have our auth context and a main layout component already configured and actually, I can come in here and open up Copilot Chat and ask, at Workspace, tell me about the configuration setup in the React app. It will give me a detailed description of all the code that's already in our directory. This way, we can get up to speed much faster. Awesome, now that we know what we have, let's take a look at the GitHub issue that has the details of what we need to build. So it looks like the first thing we need is to set up authentication. So we'll need to build a login and a registration form. Let's first create an auth layout component that we can use for all authenticated routes. Open up Copilot Chat and type at Workspace, create auth layout component with navigation and centered content. Click the three dots and insert the code into a new file. Now let's take a look at what was generated. Great, let's save the code. And now let's create a login form to implement the auth layout component. Open up Copilot Chat and type at Workspace, build a login form component with the email and password fields and validation. Let's now create a new folder named auth in the components folder. Return to Copilot Chat and click the three dots again. Select insert into new file. Save the file in the auth folder. Now let's update the home component to route us to the login page. Open up Copilot Edits and type update the nav bar to use the new login page and add a get started button to the home page that routes us to the login page. Let's review the code, accept the changes, and refresh your browser page. Now that that's resolved, let's commit our changes and take a look at what we have so far. 
Great. You'll see the new Get Started button on the UI and the login page. Now let's create a sign up page so new users can register. Open Copilot Chat and type at Workspace, create a sign up form component matching the login form style, and a new sign up page. Be sure to update routing. Select Insert into a new file to save the sign up form into the auth folder. Go back to Copilot Chat once again and click the three dots. Select Insert into a new file to save the sign up page. Save that file in the Pages folder. Open your routes.gsx file and click the Apply in Editor button from the updated code block that we were given from GitHub Copilot. Refresh your browser and test out the new pages. Let's commit our changes and then update the off context file. Open up off context.jsx file and also open up Copilot Chat. Then type set up authentication context and token management, type hash file, and attach the protected routes.jsx file. Click the Apply and Editor button to accept the changes in the authcontext.jsx file, and let's review the changes. Open up the protected routes.jsx file and click Apply in Editor and accept these changes. If any errors come up, we're going to resolve them with GitHub Copilot. Now let's move on to making a request to the backend server so we can register and log in. For that, I'm gonna bring in Christopher to help us build faster. To create the login and the signup forms, we are gonna wind up working across three files. Fortunately, GitHub Copilot Chat has an ability to allow us to edit multiple files at one time. We're going to add those files into chat and then instruct Copilot to create both the login and the signup forms. We can explore all the code that has been generated, ensure that everything works, and apply that in editor. Once we've applied those changes, now we can return to the site and actually test everything. And we can see that we can register a brand new user and that we can log in as that brand new user. Whenever we're creating a website, we want to make sure that it's easy for people to do some of the most common tasks. We want to make sure that they are able to very quickly log in. So we want to add that to the nav bar on the left side. Returning back into Copilot Chat, we're going to do that same thing of working across multiple files. We'll instruct Copilot Chat to add in that functionality to the nav bar, explore the changes again that it's made, and let's go back to the browser and make sure that everything looks good. 
we can now see that log in link inside of our nav section. Let's test that and make sure that we can still log in as that user that we created previously. Continuing down this path of making sure that our users have easy access to the information that they're going to be most frequently interested in, let's update that dashboard to add in information about their trips. We'll then tell Copilot to build out that dashboard layout with the sidebar navigation. Copilot will generate the code, and just like always, we'll want to review the code and make sure that it looks good. Now that we have that layout, let's create that trips card and the trips list component to showcase all of those trips. Going back to Copilot, we're going to have it create the trip card and the trip list component for displaying all of those trips. And we'll tell it to also add a message for the various loading states. We'll also tell Copilot to generate the dashboard component to display the trips that users are routed to on login. If a user has no logins, then we want to show them a welcome message on that dashboard. I also want to make sure if there's an error when the user runs the site that we display a fun little error message. I'm going to tell Copilot to add that in and to add in the assets into the appropriate folders. Let's save all those files, review all the changes, and make sure that everything looks good. One thing I want to highlight here is the fact that we were working interactively here. And this is one real big thing whenever you're working with Copilot, is that you can take a look at what it's done and provide additional suggestions. So you don't need to bundle everything up into one huge prompt. And now let's return back to the site and see how all of this works. We've got the login, the logout, and all of the error code all working properly. If you notice, I always make sure that I'm reviewing the code changes that Copilot provides. This ensures that I catch any errors right away, and then I can ask the AI to make updates or I can adjust the code manually as needed. So far though, it looks like we're doing pretty well. Wow, we're making such great progress here. Thanks so much, Christopher, for all your help. Now, let's move on to the actual trip management side of things. We need to create a new form that allows users to add their trips and save them to the dashboard. We'll need to make a post request to the slash trip slash new route, and for the date picker, we'll use the day.js library. Let's open up Copilot and get started. Type, create a new trip form with destination and date inputs. Use DayJS library. Open up your terminals and install these dependencies. We need DayJS for the date picker, and we also need MUI X date picker to work along with it. Let's review our changes, accept these changes, and now let's test out our UI. Let's go back to Copilot edits and type, create an itinerary day and time slot components for managing daily activities with editing capabilities. Let's review our changes, accept these changes, and save our files. Okay, so open up Copilot edits and type. If the user doesn't have an itinerary for their trip, Prompt them to add an itinerary. Also include a default itinerary template. Let's review the changes, accept the changes, and save our file.
wow. We just built a fully functional MVP of the application in a short time with GitHub Copilot. This is truly the power of building alongside an AI tool that just works. Thanks so much for joining us today. And if you want to learn more, we've created a blog post that accompanies this episode. Click the link in the description to be taken there. Remember to sign up for GitHub Copilot if you haven't already done so to get started for free. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future episodes. Until then, happy coding.